Not long ago, we brought you the story of a young farm family in Whitefield who have the state's first pick your own hemp field. Hemp has become legal to grow and surging in popularity because so many people want to make CBD products. But just as the harvest was wrapping up, the farmers were actually startled by a call from the bank. And that setback has provoked a response from the governor. New Center Maine's Don Carrigan explains. In the small town of Whitefield, the Sheepscut General Store has become a destination and part of a rejuvenation of the farm by young farmers Taryn and Ben Marcus. We first met them two months ago at their first ever field of hemp, three acres of plants high in CBD, low in THC. The plants are now harvested and drying in the barn and ready to process and sell. All good until a phone call last Friday. Right out of the blue, we were called by Camden National at 4.30 on Friday, tell, told us our bank accounts were being closed and our loans were being recalled. All because of hemp, even though the government says it's legal. And then at, right at harvest and marketing time, when we're ready to put money back in the bank after taking it out all season, um, is poor timing and it was very poorly handled. Their insurance company had also said it wouldn't renew the policy. The problem? The federal government has not yet written new rules for how banks handle money from hemp. Renee Smith of Camden National says hemp farming is largely a cash business. So we don't have rules and regulations for when the cash is being presented for hemp products, how to handle that. That would be the guidance given by the um, federal regulators. A bill to do that has been moving through Congress, but is apparently sitting in the Senate. But Sheep's Got General Farm isn't waiting. They took to social media and it lit up. We've gotten uh, quite a bit of attention. Our Facebook post has gotten over 100,000 views. And that got the attention of the state and Governor Mills, who quickly wrote to the U.S. Secretary of Agriculture to speed things up and get the rules written. Something's holding them up. We don't know what, but it's bad for business in Maine. It's bad for our farmers in Maine. The couple says they have found a new bank and will find new insurance too, but admit dealing with this October surprise has been a pain even CBD won't fix. It's not right, um, but I guess if we're going to be made an example of, you know, <laughs> so be it, and hopefully uh, it'll all get sorted out sooner than later. I mean, In Whitefield, Don Kerrigan, New Center, Maine. Ben and Taryn Marcus say they have heard from other hemp farmers in Maine with the same problem. The bank says it wants to work with hemp farmers as soon as Congress and the federal government get the rules straightened out.